All right. All right, guys, my name is Sushu Hoover again. One of the Platinums and I attend card holder in Evolution and Archer Travel. So in this training, how to make 100% instant commission. This is what I am going to show you using profit agility. Now, this training is not going to be in public because I want to actually um, uh, protect some of our clients' information and um, credit card authorization form. Okay. so. At the end of this training, I will share you the recorded link so you guys can have access to that. All right. So before we start, you guys hear me okay, right? Yep. I can hear All right. you. Okay, awesome. So can you guys, uh, do you guys um, familiar or registered with Profit Agility already? Anyone here who's not registered yet? Oh no, we have a couple who's actually not registered yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay. So how to register with this one? You are going to go to your back office. From that back office, you are going to Travel Cafe and then you are going to find that in Travel Cafe. But I'm being nice right now. So I'm actually going to give you the link in the chat box. There you go. Thank you, Richard. Okay, so Richard already put it on the chat box. Go ahead and click that link and then you are going to uh, click member login, okay? So for those who's not registered yet, you are not going to have access to this right away. You have 24 hours to actually get an access to this. Okay. All right. Hi, Mandy. All righty. So when you get to this page, you are going to click right here on the bottom. Do not have an account. Click here to register. Once you click that, it's going to ask you for access code. Now our access code is going to be uh, dollar sign travel with capital T 2019 dollar sign. And then when you click next, you are going to fill this out, your agent ID number, first name, last name, phone number, email address, and then your password, okay? Now, like I said, you, are, you have 24 hours to actually access this, and you are going to receive an email. So access code is going to be travel2019. It's right here. All right. All right. So this is what we are going to use to actually create or make 100% daily commission. So, you know, especially here in Vegas, this is what I really love to use, especially on 4th of July, okay? Uh, so what we're going to find right now is a resort week. What, what is Profit Agility? Profit Agility is actually a resort week. It's seven nights stay. So it's kind of like timeshare, okay? These are actually our wholesale site. So it is an unsold timeshare, okay? There is restriction on actually posting this on your social media. You cannot actually uh, advertise the name of the resort, okay? Just to make it clear, you cannot advertise the name of the resort. You can just say, let's say Las Vegas Resort, but you cannot post the name of the, uh, that resort, okay? Now, with the 100% instant commission, we are also going to use Square App, okay? This is how we are going to collect our 100% commission. So you can use Venmo, Cash App, Square App, Zelle, however you want to use, whatever you want to use, okay? You can use that. However, I highly recommend Square App because with Square App, you can manually input um, your client's credit card. Okay, unlike Cash App and Venmo, you are going to send them your Cash App name. Now, it happened to me before uh, that I sent that Cash App name to my client. So my Cash App name was um, dollar sign Sushil Hoover. Okay. And my client decided to actually type in dollar sign 
Sushi Hoover. So my commission, I commissioned, just went to Sushi Hoover. And unfortunately, that Sushi Hoover was mean that doesn't want to give the money back. So that's our loss right there, right? So from that day, we decided, me and my husband decided not to use Cash App when actually collecting commission from our clients. Okay, so Square App is the best. Um, if this is not free, you are you can actually um, get free one up to one thousand processing fee. Okay, just get the link from your leaders, or I can share you my link as well at the end of this training. Also, you are going to need your credit card authorization form. Now, for those of you who doesn't know where to can where you can get credit card authorization form, you can use the credit card authorization form from the Travel Cafe from Archer Travel, or you can actually create your own credit card authorization form. This one is the one that I use when um, six months when I've been in the business. So I created this from uh, I learned this from other leader as well. Okay. Um, one more thing is just to make sure, can you use the Archer USA name, Archer Travel USA name? Um, yes, you can use Archer Travel USA name, but how, however, we want you to brand yourself, right? So just use your, oh, your DBA. Your DBA is going to be yours, your business name. Okay, because you are a uh, sole proprietorship. You are 1099, right? So it's going to be your business name. Okay, so also when using profit agility, okay, when you are using 100% or doing 100% commission, this is actually a quiz for you guys. Do you have to fill out a credit card? I'm uh, sorry, do you have to fill out a commission tracking form. Anyone? Nope, nope. No, nope. I don't nope. think so, but I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. So uh, when I hope not. <laughs> you know, well, you wanna you want to do that, right? But what I'm showing it to you, what I'm what I'm showing you is you don't have to fill out the uh, commission tracking form because the 100% commission that you are going to collect from your client is actually 100% yours. Okay. That there's no 80%, there's no 10%, there's no 50%, 100% your profit. So here is what we're going to do we're going to find the resort week from here. Okay. So I am, like I said, 4th of July. A lot of people wants to come here in Vegas. So we're going to look for Vegas here, okay? As you can see, there's a lot of destination here. So I am going to look for Las Vegas. So I'm going straight to July. Okay, do you only fill out the commission tracking form when you book? billable travel. Actually, you only have to fill out the commission tracking form if you are booking a from a preferred suppliers with a built-in commission. Does that answer your question, Richard? I hope so. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are in Vegas. Vegas, baby. Okay. So now we are going to look for 4th of July right here. Now you can actually look for Tahiti right here, as you can see from July 1st to July 8th, sleeps 8, 1498, right? Uh, regular price. And with our discount, we can save up to uh, 1200. And then we also have the Elara. If you don't know this resorts right here, you can actually use Google Earth or Google it, right? Google Map. Uh, I love Google Earth because you can actually see where it's where exactly it is. It's kind of like satellite. So Elara right here, and also the Tahiti 
two bedroom sleeps in. Now, I think I am going to look for this one right here. Okay. Now with my profit agility, just to clarify, it has a built-in commission. You can actually book your clients here with a built-in commission. But what I'm going to show you, I will take out completely the commission from here. Okay. So let's go ahead and select that. Right here, you can collect all these photos right here and post it on your social media. And like I said, you cannot put this resort right here, okay? You cannot put um, Tahiti Resort on your social media platform. So you can put just Las Vegas Resort or, um, you know, Las Vegas Village, something like that, okay? But you cannot put the Tahiti Village, the name of it, okay? You can also use any of this, um, uh, what they call this, amenities and stuff like that. You can also add, add this to your um, social media when advertising it, okay? And then once you posted this and your client is interested with this, you can actually email this link to them. And that is the only way that they are going to find out what resort it is, okay? You cannot advertise it. The reason why you cannot really advertise the name of the resort is because like I said, this is a timeshare, unsold timeshare. So of course the owner of the timeshare is actually selling it also themselves, right? This, they're, they're advertising also. So they don't want to compete with uh, travel agents, tra uh, Archer travel agents, okay? That is the reason. Uh, okay, cannot look it on your page. So you're going to go to the resort week. So I went to up to 12 months in advance. Let me go back again, okay? 12 months in advance. And then from your, choose your location right here. You're going to look for Nevada and then Las Vegas. And then I went straight to July. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back and get that Tahiti village right here. The two bedroom one, which is slips eight. All right. So I am going to get this one right here, the royal one. Okay. It's 3,300 and then after savings, it's only 2,034. So let's go ahead and click book. Okay. All right. So right here, as you can see, like I said earlier, you, you can actually have the built-in commission to this one, okay? Now, if you want a built-in commission, of course, yes, you can. You can make up to seven hundred twenty-one and sixty-one dollars and sixty-one cents. Okay, but you are selling it for the same price to your client, right? Now, what I'm going to show you is I am going to drop that price or that commission control to zero. Okay. Do we specify the sale price or prior price? Uh, we don't really actually um, advertise this, the sale price, okay? And that's what I'm going to show you. So I am actually, I drop it to zero, the commission. Why did I do that? Well, if you look at it, there's 1800, 1821 and 62 cents. So let's just close it out to 1800, okay? Now your maximum suggested sale price is 33 61 okay you have 1821 so how much can you make or how much can you add on this to where you can make money and also save your client some money anyone i would do 500 500 okay so if you add 500 that's going to be what 2300 i'm not good in math sorry 2300 right? more too but that's yeah 
Okay, so let's say we add a thousand dollars. There you go. There's already two thousand dollars right there. That's twenty-eight twenty-one versus thirty-three sixty-one, right? So you save your money. You save your client some money, right? And then you also made a thousand dollars. Do you think that's a good price for you? That will pay your bills already. Yes, right. I'll take now, it. Let's. <laughs> yeah, right. So imagine you're selling this. I'm gonna actually pull up my calculator right here. So you are selling it for eighteen. No, I'm sorry. Eighteen twenty one plus a thousand dollars. That is twenty eight twenty one, and you are saving your client. $540, okay, $540, you're saving your client and you make $1,000. Now, let's see if we are actually putting the commission right here, which is a built-in commission, okay? We are going to add, the um, let's say, $3361 right there, right? And you're only making $721 or Better yet, you're only making 80% of this, $721. So how much is the 780% uh, of 721, right? That's all you're going to make. Now, also just to, for clarification, when you do this um, uh, process right here, when you add that commission, that right there is already whatever you make 80% of this, that is counted towards your IA10 card, okay? Now remember that IA10 card, once you make $5,000 in uh, booking commission, you can make your, you can gain or you can obtain your IA10 card, right? I know we have a couple IA10 card holder here, which is, um, we have Mandy and Christine. So, this is where you are going, this is what you're going to make when you have the built-in commission. But like I said, we're going to actually make it zero, right? So let's make a thousand dollars. Let's tell our client that, okay, we are finding it for, how much it is? For 28.21, right? Now, before you can actually tell your client that you are finding it for 2821 what you are going to do is you are going straight to the source, okay? So we are going to find that Tahiti village. And we are going to compare the price to see if we are actually saving our clients or not. Let me see. Oh, this is booking.com. No, we're not going to do that. So we are going to go straight to Tahiti, Tahiti Village. Now we are going to put the date, January 8th to, I mean, July 8th, July 1st to July 8th. Check availability. And we have a two bedroom one, right? The Royal Tahiti, Tahitian. So when you book, when you click book, here is the total price, 4,082. Actually, this is not the total price because there is a resort fee of $300.58. Now this resort fee is always payable upon check-in. So we never collect this one. So really the total price is gonna be 3,347 plus 435.11. So that is 3,782 cents. Are we still saving our clients or not? Yes, right? Yes, okay, so we're still saving our client. We're making a thousand dollars okay so now let's say our client is actually looking at tahiti village right yes resort fee is always payable upon check-in 
no one actually gets away with a resort fee unless you have a comp um comp, uh, comp room okay all right so now we are going to let our clients know that we are finding it for 2821 right on the other side the tax fee is included correct yes this one the tax is already included okay so now we are finding it for 18 uh, for 2821 so now we are telling our client okay and this is the script that we always tell our client okay to be able to get you the discounted rate or the wholesale price I am finding it for twenty eight hundred and twenty one cents. I mean, two thousand eight hundred twenty one. Okay. To be able to get this price, the discounted price, we have to have two charges on your card. Okay. One is the resort fee. I mean, not the resort fee, but the um, the actual wholesale fee. Okay. And then, I'm sorry, not the wholesale fee, the, the, the resort, uh, how can I say this? It's the resort um, charges. It's the resort charges, okay? Because we're not actually saying, trying to say that's a heated village. So if you want to say that to your client because you're not really in public, right? You're not in, on, on social media, say that you can do that. So you can say that the $1,821 is for the Tahiti Village, and then the $1,000 is a non-refundable wholesale fee. Okay, does that make sense? Did you, did you guys get that? Yes. Yeah. No? Okay, so to be able to get this discounted rate, the, there's going to be two charges on your credit card. One, 1,821 will be the Tahiti Village. And then the $1,000 is non-refundable wholesale fee. Now, why do we say it's a whole non-refundable wholesale fee? Because it's a wholesale Because price. essentially that, oh, go ahead. Because it's a wholesale price. Because okay. if they cash, we still get our commitment. It kind of is a wholesale fee. It's your fee. <laughs> exactly. You already did all the work, right? So, of course, if they decided to cancel later on before uh, 1st of July, you actually get your commission already. You already got paid on the work that you did. Okay? No one can actually take that from you no more. That is what you make already. Who knows? Probably as soon as you get paid, you already went shopping or pay your bills. So if they decided to cancel, are you going to give them back the $1,000? I'm not giving that away, right? No. <laughs> That's mine already, okay? It's kind of like when I always say, it's kind of like when you go to a nail salon, when they paint your nails, can you do a refund? No. no, what are they going to do if you, they ask you for refund and you're going to uh, uh, erase that nail polish? No, you already did the work, right? So make your work worth, okay? So let's say your client said, okay, well, I actually giving you an, uh, another experience of mine. I have a client who says that, well, I thought you don't charge extra. What is that $1,000? What is that extra? What is that whole selfie? And so I'm always blood to my clients. I'm always straightforward that, you know, that is a wholesale fee. Like I said, right? You we are comparing the prices here from the Tahiti village and you see the price, the difference. Now to get you this, this, this uh, discounted rate, this is what we charge, okay? We have to pay this wholesale fee. Now, if you want one charge on your credit card, let's go ahead and let's charge you one, uh, one, let's actually charge your card one charge, okay? And what I'm gonna do, 
I'm just going to put this here, built-in commission. But you have to pay, your client has to pay the full price. So either or, this is what I tell my client, either or, right? Whether we got two charges or one charge on your credit card, the company will actually pay me. So I'm just giving you my discount. Sometimes I, give, I tell them that I'm giving you my travel agent discount. That's the wholesale fee. So of course, that right there, right? There's, you're saving them $540. Of course, they will think about it like, hey, I'm in Vegas. That can be my uh, slot machine money, right? So of course, right here. So we're good with $2,821. Now, you're going to actually send them the credit card authorization form, okay? With the credit card authorization form, this is where you are going to fill out all this information right here, the traveler's name, trip type, date, uh, travel date, total charge to the credit card, which you are going to put the, there's going to be two charges, right? So you are going to put 1821, let's see, 1,821, which is Tahiti Village. And then you are going to put $1,000 full sale fee. And of course, you are going to put a non-refundable fee everywhere, okay? If you want to create your invoice, please make sure that you are going to put non-refundable fee. So any court, they ask you to, you know, they take you, they're not going to win because they are going to sign this, okay? Supplier's name, you can just leave that. Confirmation name, number, of course, this one is going to be empty because you didn't book it yet, right? And then, of course, this one right here, correct name and address of the credit card, uh, the last four digit of the credit card. Now, mind you, you cannot put the full credit card number, okay? The whole credit card number on the credit card authorization form. I found that that, that is illegal. That is against the law. CVV. Of course, expiration date, and then they're going to put their driver's license number, their daytime phone number, their signature, and then their date, right? Now, once you receive this in the mail, I mean, not in the mail, in your email, okay? Remember, you're going to be on the phone with them, right? Always against the law, if you put the full credit, the your client's full credit card number on the credit card authorization form. Okay, uh, do we fill out the credit card authorization twice since they are charged twice? No, just once. You are just going to actually um, itemize it here. Okay, all right. So once you receive this in the email, okay, remember you're going to be on the phone with them. That's how you are going to close this client. Okay, once you receive this, this is the time that you are going to go ahead and book this, okay? You're going to fill out the first name and last name of your client. And then, um, let me see. I'm actually going to put my husband's name, add to cart, okay? Now, check out. Can they take a screenshot with the credit card authorization form filled out and signed in? case they don't have a scanner, can they take a screenshot with a credit card authorization? Yes, they can. They can, and then they can email it to you. Because this one, remember, this is for your own record. This is for you, okay? Okay, so first name, last name, email address. Always make sure that you put your email address right here, okay? Why? because we want you guys to get the notification first before your client. Whatever the cancellation or whatever happens to that reservation, you are the one who will actually get that 
um, email first. And then it, you can easily forward it to your client. Of course, before forwarding it to your client, you are going to brand yourself, like put your logo or change any logos that's there. Okay. Primary phone number. This is your client's phone number. And then continue to the payment. Now, this is 1,821. Okay. This is the time that you're going to pull up your Square app account. Your Square app account, there is an app on this one as well. I suggest use the app on your phone because it's so easy. So when you're booking, you will just have to um, pull up that Square app. It's kind of like calculator when you put the, um, the credit card manually. So I don't know if you can see. No, you can see. You cannot see. All right, so from here, from the uh, Square app, you are going to click this take a payment, okay? You're going to put a thousand dollars right here. Someone wants to, someone wants to say hi. Under contacts, you put their name and your email, correct? Yes, your clients, name and my email address okay uh supplier? do you put tahiti village in for the supplier like for a second time yeah you can put the tahiti village as a supplier is, is that going to be who bills them actually i'm going to put a uh, profit agility okay yeah so once you charge your one thousand dollars right here right Right here, manually enter card. It's the same thing with the app. Like I said, on the app, it's like calculator. You can just manually enter that credit card number. Okay. And there's charges as well. Right. And then this is where you, you're going. Of course, you can put any notes right here. Put it also non-refundable. Put it everywhere. Non-refundable. Okay. So you don't get you know you have you have that proof okay so, so i have a quick yeah. quick question are is most of profit agility's weeks also non-refundable once you book it not i mean there's a lot of non-refundables now versus the refundable before there's a lot of refundable ones but now there's a lot of non-refundable okay so you just have to pay attention to the yeah to the work uh -huh. Yeah, thank you for uh, clarifying that. Also, when you're doing this, uh, always make sure that this is refundable, okay? Uh, the cancellation policy, not refundable, sorry. Always make sure about the cancellation policy so you already know. So this one is non-refundable. So of course, the total amount is non-refundable. So you are going to put this on the credit card authorization form or invoice that the whole thing is non-refundable. Sad to say, right? But hey, if they locked in this price already, this is a really good price on 4th of July in Las Vegas, okay? Can you get a tin leg insurance policy for the resort price? To be honest with you, um, this is not covered with, um, the non-refundable one is not, not covered by any insurance or travel protection. Only the refundable one. How do you obtain the client's full credit card number? You're going to be on the phone, remember? You're going to be on the phone and then you're booking this, okay? So you're going to ask the credit card, uh, the full credit card number, and then you're going to hit charge, okay? Could we invoice them if they don't want to give credit card number yes you can you can invoice them through this one when um, this one right here you can create an invoice and then email it to them and then once they actually um uh what do you call agree it and sign it then it's gonna be collect the thousand dollars will be collected and then put it in your square app now i like square app because you can also get a Square App card or you can apply for 
checking accounts and they can give you Square App card, like a debit card. It has like this one, it has my business name, Hoover Travel and Tours, and it's um, automatically available on this card. Now, if of course, if you're going to transfer this to your personal banking information, then it's going to take you three to five business days. Okay. So I love this card right here because this one, I always spend this. Okay. How do we pay the, how do we, how do they pay for the actual resort if we only take the $1,000? Uh, okay. So I, Think you missed that already because we they already paid the one thousand eight hundred right here. Okay, they already booked the one thousand eight hundred twenty one. Can you connect it to the personal bank account? Yes, you can. But like I said, it's gonna take you three to five business days. Now, for the first time, if you actually use this, okay. Don't be surprised if Square App actually hold your money for the first time because they are going to verify what kind of services or what kind of business you have. They will ask you uh, for any, um, uh, what do you call this? Documentation, like credit card authorization form. This is what I uh, actually, um, and what happened to me when I, you first use this. So I had to actually send them my client's credit card authorization form telling Square App that I am a travel agent and this is my service fee. And this is what my client agree that $100, it was $100, my very first one. And that is the $100 is non-refundable service fee or non-refundable wholesale fee. And then it only take them within 24 hours, they release that fund to this uh, card and then it's ready to use. Uh, can you put this recording in? Yes, I will, I will. Okay, we, we take both payments up front. Yes, that is correct. We take that both payments up front. How long will they hold the reservation? So for the reservation, if you place this on hold, you have seven days to hold this, okay? But it's not a guarantee really is because like I said, the owner of the timeshare is actually selling this as well, okay? Selling that unit as well. Uh, so the total amount must be paid up front. Yes, that is correct. Can you charge the whole amount on Square then pay resort to the only one fee on card? Very good question, Jennifer. I was actually waiting for this question, okay? Now, you know when you guys check in, and I know most of us here already travel, check into a hotel. When you guys check in, they ask you for your identification and the credit card on hold, right? Or the credit card for their file. So of course, once your client check in, they give them their credit card information, right? Yes, they, the, the Tahiti Village already got your client's in, uh, credit card information. However, let's say your client decided to go wild, especially on 4th of July, right? I don't know if you guys watch that movie, Hangover. Oh my goodness, right? They destroy that room. What's gonna happen? They're going to charge their client's card. And if they cannot get the money from that client's card, what is the next card on file? Your card, right, Jennifer? <laughs> you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna get charged. You don't want to put your card on Jeopardy, right? So never ever use your card. And plus what Archer say, never ever collect that money that is not actually yours. You're only collecting that $1,000, not the 1,821 because that 1,821, it that belongs to Tahiti Village. How do you advertise this? Um, I'm gonna show you to you at the end, okay? Okay. 
<clears throat> Where do you go on our back office to find the credit card authorization form? It's actually in Travel Cafe. All right. If we have a Square app account for another small business, do we need another account? You know what? I'm not sure if you can, you have to have another account, but um, I'm not sure. I would suggest just create another account for your travel business. Is there a book now and pay later option? No, for the profit agility, there's no option. There's no uh, such thing as book now and pay later. I wish, right? Do you, where do you market advertise this? Or oh, where I do my uh, market this? I actually market this in uh, TikTok, especially for 4th of July, okay? Uh, last year, I made a mistake. I actually put a price and I didn't get that much hit on that certain advertisement, that ads, okay? So I would suggest if you, ad, if you advertise this, do not put any price on it. I mean, I have something here that I created a little while ago, right here. I'm not really good in mock booking. I don't know, Christine. Christine, are you good in mock booking? I'm not really good in mock booking. I don't really do mock booking. So if you guys can just copy this or screenshot this, you can actually um, do this and then, you know, some pictures. I would suggest if you want to grab some pictures, because the pictures from here, it's not really nice. I don't like it. So what I would suggest is go to uh, Travel Advisor. Okay, let me see here real quick. Let me show it to you guys. So from Travel Advisor, you're going to type Tahiti, I know, Tahiti Village. And then as you can see all these pictures right here, view all photos, oops, let me see, let me see. View all photos. And then I would suggest go, go to this drop down, and then you will see photos from management. So all these photos is up for grab, okay? You can grab this and then post it on your social media, TikTok, Facebook, okay? Especially 4th of July here in Vegas, it's, a lot of people it's always sold out on uh vegas in vegas uh okay so you booked the 1800 here and the 1000 square yes yes that is correct okay uh -huh. okay oops okay the ads hold on a sec all right let me see yes we have trainings of um mock bookings, there's a lot of trainings from your all your uh, team trainings. Okay, when signing up for Square App, what do we put for what business do we run? You can just put travel or tourism, and then later on you can put services, okay? Uh, okay, so let me copy this real quick and then put it in the chat. It's not the best mock booking um, script, okay? But of course you can change the number, right? You can change the name and the number. So I put, I put here as, for as low as $50 per person. Why? Is because this one is for eight people, okay? For eight people. So if we, char if we actually charge 22, how much was that? 22. Let's see, 28, 28, 21. Oops, sorry. I have so many. Okay. So if we charge 28, 21 divided by seven, divided by eight, that's how I got the $50. So it's more attractive, right? Because if you are actually putting 403 a night, no one will bite that. That's actually I did the, on my ads that I was telling you on TikTok, which is 99. I put $99 a night, but still no hit. So I would say 50 as low for as low as $50 per person. Uh, have you ever encountered placing this Tahiti village and when the client is ready to book, the offer sold out? 
Uh, no, I never encountered that, especially, uh, like I said, I've been doing this um, for four years now, right? Every, uh, every holiday, every holiday, I always grab a resort here and I always book a resort here for like Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend is actually sold out now. I cannot book any of my clients here. So I actually grab them from Evo Rewards. Okay, now with Evo Rewards, it's kind of high right now because it's it's getting close to um, to actual Memorial Day weekend. All right, so now, okay, let's let's move forward. So now, once you charge the thousand dollars and you already have the booking right here, you already booked this one, right? Now you have a confirmation number in your email. That is the time that you're going to go back to the email that they sent you, the credit card authorization form that they sent you. You are going to put the confirmation number and then email it back to your client as their receipt, okay? And like I said, you can create an invoice as well if you'd like, okay? All right. Uh, yes, this is for the whole week. Now, if your client decided to just, they need five days, okay? They have to actually, they can check out at any time, but they have to check in on the actual check-in date, okay? On the training that they have for profit agility, it was actually contradicting from what they're saying is because they said that we can just notify the front desk that they, let's say they decided to check in on the second. They said that just let the client, um, let the, tr the front desk know that our client is checking in on the second. Now, when that happened to my client, they actually uh, canceled the whole thing because the July, I mean, July 1st, if they didn't show up, that means no show. So they actually um, cancel the whole thing, okay? And I don't want that to happen to anybody else because that is from my actually experience for my clients. How far in advance do you advertise for each holiday? Um, I'm actually looking, January, I'm looking for already for uh, spring and spring break and um, Memorial Day weekend. So I would say three months, four months in advance. Yes. Okay. One more thing also. So when you're doing this, I forgot about this. When you're doing the credit card authorization form, and also when you have your invoice, please, please declare to your client about the resort fee. Okay. Whatever fee that's here, you have to let them know. So you can... Put input this as a note on your Square app right here or on your credit card authorization form. So you got to let them know that the resort fee is payable upon check-in, okay? So this resort fee, let's say $25 US, uh, US dollar resort fee, right? It's per night, per room. So this is just per night for us and with taxes and fees, okay? So it's not just $25, we cannot get away with Uncle Sam, no matter what. We have to pay taxes. So even the resort fee has taxes. Can the credit card form be created as a fillable form? Yes, you can. So you can use the, uh, the PDF or the you can use the DocuSign or uh, Sign Now app, okay? With the Sign app, I mean, Sign Now app, you know, all this app application has subscription, right? So what I would suggest with the sign up, sign now app, you can use it up to three times. And then for the fourth time that you use that for your client, of course, that's the time that uh, sign now is going to ask you to uh, subscribe. Okay, it's not going to be free no more. So what I do is I only use this every single month, three times. And then after that, if I needed more, then I just screenshot it or 
um, email it to my client. Could you copy and paste that section? What section, Nicole? Oh, this one, this right here. Yes, you can just copy and paste this on your on your um, invoice or your Square app note right here. All right. Let me actually close this out real quick. All right, guys. So this is uh, how you can make 100% instant commission. Thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Sushil Hoover, one of the Platinums and I-10 cardholder. And I'll see you next training. Bye now.